I don't know anybody anything. He couldn't lift his fucking arms, couldn't even hold a fucking fork. You know there was nothing wrong with his brain. He even knew what was fucking going on. I knew what was fucking going on. We just held on together, day after day. All the while he's wasted away. And these nurses, they're flipping him about, saying, stand back, we know what we're doing. I said, if you know what you're fucking doing, why does he look like a rag doll? Fucking hold him up. Of course, they needed someone with them. You know, wipe his ass, help him piss. He would have needed someone with him for every fucking minute for the rest of his fucking life. Waiting around with a shit bucket and a mop. And this one day, this first year fuck of a nurse comes in and dumps this tray of shit in front of Dad. This fucking brown shit and this jello. This fucking lime green children's shit. Just dumps it in front of him. And he looks at it, and he's humiliated. And I saw him, I saw his eyes. Everything just disappeared. I was holding his hand and he squeezed it. I said, you want to say something, Dad? He said something, I didn't understand what it was. So I said, why don't you just whisper, Dad, just whisper it. So he, uh, he whispers it into my ear. And I said, nah, Dad, nah, I can't do that. But he just looks at me. And he says it again. I just stood there. I stood there and then I did it. I did it. He told me to do it. So I did what I was told. Now, what was inside of him is inside of me. Finish your fucking meal. <laughs>